This Palo Verde is the centerpiece of this customer's yard. Sometimes Palo Verdes tend to get a bad name uh, because they do tend to look a little bit junky. And I've found that a lot of customers don't tend to like them, but when you do take care of them, when you keep them pruned and keep the dead out, they tend to look like this. They can become uh, a tree that is the centerpiece of a front yard or backyard. This particular Palo Verde has had some issues because it's grown uh, with severe multi-trunks and included bark. About 12 to 15 years ago, another arborist installed this nice uh, brace right here, this one inch brace, which is essentially holding together the two halves of the tree. In addition to that, this tree, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we installed a cable and we also installed a prop. So when it comes to supplemental tree supports, uh, generally we talk about bracing, cabling, and propping, and this Palo Verde has all of them. Today, we're gonna add another supplemental support in the form of a cable in order to support this co-dominant portion of the tree. You see how there's included bark there because there's a, a V union right there. That V union, they end up growing. The two trunks end up growing where they're pushing up against one another. And then the issue could be that one splits off from the other. So we're gonna install a cable from up here to over here. At the end of the video, I'm gonna explain how all of the supplemental support that this Palo Verde has uh, could have been avoided if it had been pruned by nurturing the inner crown of this material here from the very beginning. In most cases, trees are pruned prior to adding any supplemental support.
Is that cable tensioner in the bat in the bucket too? Yeah. Great. Thank you, Bob. Here's the installed cable. It is attached to both branches with arborist grade eye bolts on both sides. It has some good tension, but not too much. And now we can rest assured that this portion of the tree is not gonna be breaking due to the included bark from the one to one aspect ratio. This Palo Verde has four different supplemental supports holding it together. One is this prop. Another is this brace at the base of the tree, essentially holding the two halves of the tree together. Another is this cable, which is helping to support this limb. And then another is a cable at the top. trunks that are on this leader here. This Palo Verde would not require this supplemental support if from the very beginning when it was a young tree, the inner crown was nurtured and the inner branches were not removed. Let me explain. Essentially, when you remove all the inner material, when you lion tail it, when you make thinning cuts, those are all the same, thinning, lion tailing, and taking out the inner crown. When you do that, the tree actually has a physiological response to growing long and weak. That's really bad news when the wind comes because it has a lot of leverage, specifically dynamic leverage. What also happens is as this limb grows long because of all the inner material being taken out if it doesn't break and it starts to see the light of day you see that wing that goes up and starts to become part of the main dominant canopy when it does that then it starts collecting enough nutrients photosynthesis from the sun to make this what should be a lower branch start to become just as thick as its main trunk. That's called a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And when the union is a V union and not a U union, when it's a V union, then that can be very dangerous for the tree starting to get included bark and then breaking off, pushing against itself. So mesquites and Palo Verdes, we do call them Sonoran Desert multi-trunk trees because they do have a tendency to grow multi-trunk. However, we make that tendency even more so when we take out the inner crown. So avoid taking out the inner crown and you will end up having trees that have main dominant trunks that go all the way out to this area and dominate over the low limbs. It's not that we don't want this material up here on this low limb. We want that material, but we want this material to belong to what is on the main trunk. So start nurturing the inner crown. Do not remove it. And your trees will not need supplemental support. And by the way, the supplemental support is considered to be permanent. It is not something that we will ever remove.